Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Polish Electric Heart and I'm going to stamp on it. I've started off with Neltik's Formula 2 and here is Polish Electra Heart. Beautiful red polish. Mm. And I topped it off with Posh Top Coat. I'm going to be using this Hee Hee Plate number 18 today and the Revlon Gold Polish called Tempting. And this is going to be my background stamping for, um, I'm going to do some accent nails on my ring fingers, but I wanted, I just wanted to play. So I wanted something delicate and light in the background. And there we go, cleaning off that plate and doing it again. Here we go. It's just kind of a lacy design. I thought it would look good. You know, we never know until we actually do it whether it's going to turn out or not. <laughs> oh. But it's just nail polish. If we don't like it, we can take it off and do something else. Or we can leave it on and look at it for a day or two. <laughs> just what I normally do. I really like how delicate this gold is. It's not like in your face. You know, it's very light over the base color. So there we go. And I'm going to be using this CC and CC plate and I think it's the Flowers 03 and Sally, the, the Sally Hansen Crayola collections. I'm going to use the Carnation Pink and the White. And I'm going to do some layered stamping. You, you guys know I haven't done a whole lot of this, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. That's why I'm doing accent nails today. I didn't want to get too aggravated, so I just decided to stick with accent nails. And that's a little trick that I do. If I'm doing something I'm not so sure about, I'll just do it on my ring finger first. And if I like it, I might do it to all of them. <laughs> but we're gonna go down with the white first. And then we're gonna have to clean this plate off. It's a really neat plate. I was very intimidated by layering plates, but we're getting there. And I'm going to go in with the pink over the top. And I want you guys to notice that um, this, this one doesn't pick up so good. No, that's not going to work. So we're going to clean it off and we're going to do it again. I think I scraped too many times and gave that polish just a chance to kind of dry out first. So we're going to do it again and we're going to try to be a little quicker about it. And give it one good scrape. There we go. Yay! I'm going to line that up over the white image. There we go. So we have the rows down. Now I'm going to use this Bundle Monster H22 plate and I'm going to just use the little leaves and I'm going to use another Sally Hansen polish called Granny Smith Apple. And I'm going to do the white first, just like I did with the rose. I'm going to do the white just to help that green, that Granny Smith apple, kind of show up better. Do a little clean up with my tape. A little bit more clean up with my tape. <laughs> there we go. I think we got it now. But I'm going to go in under the rose with these leaves. Just kind of thought it needed something. So we got the white down. We're going to clean that plate off and reuse that same image, but in the green. And I'm going to plop that on there. And it just wasn't showing up super good, so I'm going to use this Born Pretty kind of bright green right over the top of the other ones. Just kind of give it a little bit more oomph. And there we go. A little worried, worried for a minute. So here we go. We're going to top this one off with my posh top coat. And seal it in. And I'm really glad that I stuck to just an accent nail and I didn't do it on all of them. Um, Sometimes, you know, just a little bit's nice. There we go. And 
And I did do it on my shorter nails too. But here we go. Here's my swatch photo on my longer nails. And on my shorter nails. So I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.